another wild story from my black man let me tell you about it man just from my homeboy c man rest in peace man another quick story right here on the brother love show Quick story about Big C. Now, Big C was, was a big guy. As you know, I'm calling him Big C. Big C was one of my big homeboys. Went to, you know, he was he was from a, uh, from, a, from a few blocks away. We grew up, went to junior high together, went to high school together, shot hoop together. You know, one of my boys. So long story short, man, Big C started, you know, dealing with the ladies and getting out here. And Big C was one of the type of guys that he liked to rule with an iron fist. Okay. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He was a guy that, that committed domestic violence. Okay. So C had done it a few times with a few different chicks and had got away with it. And, you know, he, that, that was just a part of his routine. If he didn't get his way, he liked to use the goon hand. OK, now this is a story to tell you guys. Don't be Big C. All right. So Big C's told me a story, man. And, it, you know, when, at the time when he told me it was kind of funny. But let me tell it to you right quick. So Big C had, had met with a chick and he was dealing with her. And she took a liking to him, okay? So they they uh they got together, and they was kicking and hanging out at her house, chilling, you know, having a good time. And she was treating them nice, you know? She was buying a tree and buying drink, and you know what I mean? She was sporting him because maybe she wanted a man or whatever. And um, Big C tried to run the same play. Now, Big C, I guess um, maybe after a certain amount of time after the honeymoon stage was over, Big C got, you know, maybe they had to change the words, and Big C slapped her. Pow, how off and slapped her. Now, Big C, knowing this normal protocol, he a big dude. He know he really shouldn't be putting his hands on nobody. He really shouldn't be doing this. But Big C, however, this is how he take care of his business. So long story short, she told him, she said, listen, it's a boxing match uh, Saturday night. And, and we need to go to my brother's house and go watch this fight. Now, they had been to the fight before. So that wasn't nothing strange or nothing that he had to really, uh, you know, didn't raise, you know, raise no red flags or nothing. So here comes, you know, during the week, the week go by, then Saturday comes. She like, come on, let's go to bro house. And they stop off, go get drank. Once again, she go get a big bottle. Um, they go get all the party flavors, whatever they need, the trees or whatever. They go get all that and they get to the brother house. OK, now he's telling me this story and I'm just sitting here listening. So and he said, as, they, as they, they got to the brother house and it's a lot of food and, you know, it's people over there. It's, it's the brother. It's the two brothers, four, two brothers. And she had four sisters and her sister had one husband there and was also a friend there. OK, so they he said um, the fight is on and you know what I mean? Everybody, they eating and you know what I mean? He started rolling up he's smoking and uh, he noticed he said when he tried to pass the tree, nobody wanted to hit it. So he drinking, he drinking, he didn't notice he said, well, he drunk and he drank a couple of glasses of Hennessy, drunk a few few shots down. And before he knew it, he done drunk half the bottle. Nobody's drinking. It just dawned on him. Nobody's drinking. So he eat again. They like, hey, man, you want some more food? And yeah, he ate up again. And you know what I mean? And they watching the fight and laughing and kicking and ha ha and everything. So it seemed pretty normal. But he said, as when we, when we got to the end, when they was about to announce the winner of the fight. So, you know, he's sitting there eagerly waiting for the announcement of the fight. He's watching the TV and somebody cold cocked him from the side. Bam! She dropped him. He hit the ground. He say, the whole family, I'm talking about the brothers, the sisters, the friends, they beat the dog, listen, they stoked the yard with him, okay? They beat, listen, he was looking like Martin after that. Now, the reason why I'm telling you the story is that he had no clue about what was going to happen. And I got a lot of respect for that family after that. I say, see, that's how you take care of Benny. Now, they could have did a lot of other stuff to it, but they whooped them together as a family. And he learned a valuable lesson. See, after that, he never put his hands on nobody else no more. And I'm giving you the story, young gentleman, so you can take it and tell it to your friends when you see your homeboy firing and slapping that girl. Tell him about the C story about my homeboy C, man. You feel me? Tell him about what happened. They stumped him within this much of his... They, 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 they put a beating on them, okay? Their family did not play, and they stuck together. And, and, and that's what people ought to do. Stick together, man. Brothers, keep your hands off people's daughters. Keep your hands off people. Hey, ladies, and don't put your hands on nobody's son either, all right?
I want y'all to take that Corey story with you, man. It's going to be plenty more. I got plenty more. I'm going to tell you. That's just a few of them. But the moral of the story is, brother, keep your hands to yourself, man. And you never know when surprises going to happen because he never seen it coming. <laughs> All right. So peace. Please bless us, everybody out there. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, man. I'm your host, Brother Love. It's another one like the other one. Peace. To the Brother Love Show. The best podcast on YouTube.